Hi, this is Kimberly at Singing for Your Soul. I want to go over chest voice and head voice, which are pretty important terms to singers. And many of you have probably heard about them and are probably already clear about what they are. So if that's the case, then you don't need to watch any further. Go on to something else. But if you are not familiar with those terms, let's clear them up for you. You know, I've actually had a lot of actors that I've worked with who have done vocal work but weren't clear about those terms. And a lot of clients who've come in, so that's why I'm doing this video. This won't be new to any of my current clients. This is for people who have never had this information before. So, we're just going to discover chest voice and head voice and why we call them that. So, go ahead and take your hand and put it right on your chest, and then we're going to make a low sound in the lower part of your range. Ha, ha, okay? Kind of like Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> so, what did you notice when you were making that sound? I'm hoping that you were feeling some vibration in your chest. So the lower part of your vocal range is called chest voice because we feel vibration in the chest. Okay? Hand back here and now let's make a higher sound. Woo! 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 And guys, you can make these sounds too. Yes, you can. Woo! Okay, what did you notice in your chest? Did you feel the same kind of vibration that you were feeling when you were ah, low, Night of the Living Dead-like? Probably not, hopefully not, because I don't know why you would. Because as we go higher, we start to feel more sensation in the head and that's why we call it head voice. So you have a natural transition between the lower part of your range where you feel vibration in your chest and the upper part of your range where you start to feel it in your head. That is important because the voice doesn't always feel the same in all parts of our range. And if you're feeling like, oh, I'm stuck, I, I, I can sing pretty good in my lower range, but then I try to go too high and I just can't go high, I can't do it, it's probably because you don't know how to access your head voice and you haven't trained the muscles how to transition gracefully between your chest voice and your head voice. So play with that, just get used to it, and start, if you really have a hard time accessing your head voice, start doing some of those siren sounds to get those muscles used to going up high. They need to learn how to stretch out and how to do a new choreography in order to get up into those upper parts of your register. And most people can go, if you haven't had vocal training, most people can go a lot higher than they have any idea of. So start playing with those woo sounds and you'll start to get things stretched out so that you will have more access to your upper notes. Have a good time with that. Hope it's helpful and if you like this info and you're interested in more, go below, go to our website, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, yada yada. Mwah. Peace out.